My name is Gary Lawson, uh, and I'm the father of a Crohn's patient. My son, uh, we're talking about is a second born son. Before he went away to school, he had had some problems with uh, rectal bleeding. Uh, all the time when he ate, he said, it feels like I'm swallowing ground glass. That was, the, the, it was so shocking to, to, to hear that. The doctor said to my wife and I that he had Crohn's, that he had a very, very, very severe case of Crohn's disease. We had no idea what that word was. He did try him for maybe a week or two weeks on a variety of steroids and some other medications and they weren't really doing much good. We went back and we said, what else is there? He said, well, there's a relatively new drug. It's called Remicade and we can try it. Once he started taking Remicade, his Crohn's symptoms virtually disappeared. They said, whatever you do, if he feels good, don't think the Crohn's has gone away. Do not stop taking Remicade. Don't vary the time. Don't change anything. Don't mess with success. Our son's insurance company, from where he worked, said, we no longer approve of Remicade. We want you to take one of these two other biosimilar drugs. And they said in their letter, these are virtually the same drugs, the same effect. They're made the same way. That wasn't true at all. They lied. They sent our son's case to what they claimed was a peer review doctor who said, nope, I do not approve your son. He doesn't need to take Remicade. He can take one of these other drugs. We later found out that this peer reviewed doctor was not only not an internist, not a gastroenterologist, not a board certified gastroenterologist. She was a physical therapy doctor that she, the peer review doctor, had not even reviewed our son's very detailed medical records. Doctors have a, a hypocritic oath, do no harm. Insurance companies don't have any oaths. They seem to have no responsibility. We said we want him to stay on this drug. It has worked for 13 years without fail. He has taken it and has kept his illness in check. We don't want to mess with that. We were prepared to go to court to uh, file a lawsuit. And fortunately, when I wrote to the president uh, a LinkedIn invite, we got a call a few days later from someone saying, what will it take so that this gets resolved? We had lost another son. I wasn't willing, we weren't willing to risk this son's life. And she said, let me see what we can do. And they agreed that they would continue to pay for the Remicade until his health insurance COBRA continuation expired a few months later. That's where we are right now. We're still in that COBRA continuation period. He is still getting his Remicade and we don't know what the future is going to be. Insurance companies, uh, they, they create lists of approved drugs that they'll pay for. Well, it's not based on what's the best drug. It's based on what drug will generate the largest rebate kickback. It is criminal, it is shameful, and frankly, uh, it's in part something that our Congress has permitted. The people I'd like to appeal to, frankly, the American citizens, to understand just how dangerous this is to them and their loved ones, and then to the members of our legislature, the state legislatures, and the federal legislature, to fix the problem that exists. Insurance companies are harming, they are sometimes killing Americans by what they do. That's why people should care. That's why people should tell their legislators, fix this problem. Alone, we're powerless, but together we can bring about the change we need.